right guys, I thought I'd give you a little context before today's video starts. I'm basically just filming a week's worth of workouts. Just because I know a lot of you guys are asking like, what are your workout? What's your workout routine? I always see you getting ready for the gym, but you never really show us like your routine. Also, it's just a little update of six months using my personal trainer. It's crazy that I posted this video about six months ago and I've been sticking consistently with my personal trainer at least three days a week. That is wild to me. Like I'm not a consistent person. So that just means so much to me. I seriously couldn't have done it without the Copilot app. They actually happen to be sponsoring today's video, but everything I say about them is complete honesty. Copilot has changed my life. If you don't know, Copilot is an app where you get a personal trainer, but it's more than just an app. Me and my personal trainer, we literally talk almost every other day. It's seriously a personal relationship that you build with them. They get to know what your life is like, how they can fit workouts into your life. Like if you can only work out at home, they can set you up for at home workouts. If you prefer going to the gym, they can set you up at the gym. Literally ask anyone in my life. I swear by Copilot. I try to convince everyone to do it because Copilot has, like I said, just overall improved the quality of my life. Like I used to say like, oh, I'm going to the gym, but I would go in there and I just look lost, not know what to do. But Copilot has set it up so that I am never confused when I walk into the gym. But anyway, sorry, I just had to hype up Copilot. I'll probably be doing this a little bit more throughout the video just because of how amazing they are. But let's get started with my first day of workouts. I like to go to the gym and start my workout around 7.30 to 8 a.m. I start by opening up the Copilot app to check what workouts my trainer put in for the day. I personally prefer to connect my Apple Watch when working out just so my coach has access to my heart rate or any other data she may need. It's definitely not required when it comes to the Copilot app. It's just something that I prefer just to make the process a little easier on me. Now I always start my workouts with at least five minutes of cardio for a warm up. Today I decided to do my warm up on the elliptical machine, but I usually alternate between the body the elliptical, the treadmill, or the stairs. The stairs is definitely one of my favorites, mostly because of how challenging it is, and I guess I like to torture myself. <laughs> no, but really, I always make sure I get in at least a little bit of cardio just because it makes me feel amazing afterwards. After cardio, I move on to strength training, which usually includes dumbbells. That is when I'm not talking and socializing with my gym buddy. But today, my coach had me doing goblet squats, and if y'all do these, trust me, you will feel it. And y'all know, I've been working for months trying to grow this booty get some glutes so today my coach decided to go up on weight on this workout i was doing 12 reps and i started off with just 20 pounds then i went up to 25 pounds and then finally i did a set using 30 pounds after that it was time to do body weight reverse lunges here was me literally failing this workout i don't know what it is about it but it's so hard i always struggle with this one i'm trying to get better i used to have to do this one with weights but i told my coach i was like i don't know if i can do it anymore this is so hard and we switched to body weight and I'm trying. I think I'm getting a little better. It's definitely one that I've been working on for a while and I can definitely sense some improvement, but I'm I'm getting there. I'm just proud of myself for keeping at it and not giving up on trying. Also, if you don't have an Apple Watch or you need to skip through something or you missed a workout, you can just manually do it on your phone. I just wanted to show that because sometimes I do mess up and I miss a workout and I just have to like manually go back on my phone. It's really easy. Anyways, now I'm doing 45 seconds of overhead press. I was doing this with 15 pounds on each side. Y'all can see I, this was a little tough but I was keeping at it and I was doing really good after that I did reverse flies for 45 seconds with a five pound dumbbell on each side you may be like girl only five pounds per side yes try it at your gym try this workout and tell me that you do not fill it with only a five pound dumbbell I'm gonna have to work my way up to 10 pounds because this was tough and then I basically just start over all the same workouts do them all over again and I do that for three times so there's three sets you try to do as many reps as you can within 45 seconds. Make sure you take a good old rest in between, drink some water, talk to your friend, whatever you're into, and then back at it again. This is our third set. Now we're moving on to a different set of workouts. By the way, these workouts are new, so I have not done these before. So if I'm not doing as great as I could be, it's because these workouts are new. <laughs> and if you're ever unsure of a workout, you can always ask your coach to send a separate video breaking down the exercise and explaining how to do it correctly. I don't know if I'm coordinated enough for this. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Like I said, don't judge me too much. My form will definitely improve over time. And I basically do the same thing, do these for 45 seconds. I'm getting the hang of it. Uh -huh. Now time for elevated jackknife crunches. I'm scared. I definitely feel it in the belly. <laughs> Now from the side, this form does not look bad. Y'all cannot tell me that it looks bad. I was killing it. I did take a few breaks in between the 45 seconds though. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not. Okay y'all, we got one more set left, then we're done. So excited! 
my kitchen is a mess so i don't want to show y'all but okay wait this may need to cook a little longer i don't know let me see i think it may be burned okay no i think it's okay i went to the farmer's market this morning with aisha after the gym this guy sells homemade pizzas but every time we get there he's always out this time he had one single pizza left and it was barbecue chicken which is like my one of my favorite kind of pizzas here's how she looks i just cooked her in the oven i'm gonna save half for kevin my kitchen is literally so messy like i don't even know where to angle this camera where you won't have clutter i'm definitely gonna be cleaning it today Look at all that cheese! Okay, y'all, this is definitely more of a lazy girl meal. I literally don't have any clean forks, so I'm using a plastic fork. I'm so sorry. I took whatever veggies I kind of had and just threw them together to make a side salad so I could just have some veggies added to this meal. See how she tastes. That's so fresh. It tastes like it came from a restaurant and not just like any restaurant, a fancy one with good homemade pizza. I can see why these sell out every week. I've never been able to get one. I'm gonna add the spinach on top. Now, as far as it goes for like gym and eating and things like that, I'm gonna eat what I want, just everything in moderation since I do struggle with binging. Today's workout was really good. And obviously when you do work out, you do get more hungry. And I do try to focus on getting in some good protein, but I don't track any of that stuff super heavily. Usually I work out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but I did miss my Wednesday and Thursday workout. So I just made it up on Saturday. And my coach messages me all the time. She'll tell me like, are you gonna make up this week's workout? What's the plan? Or I'll just text her and say hey little change of plans i'm gonna be making up this workout on this day and the coach is very nice like literally we be texting all the time y'all my coach's name is olivia she's so sweet i know the thought of having a personal trainer can be so scary especially as me someone with not only gym anxiety but anxiety in all aspects of life being able to talk through text and then also video chats when needed is perfect for me because i'm very shy and i feel like i've truly gotten to know my trainer without any awkward Y'all know I talk a lot about how awkward I actually am in real life. Hey guys, so I did want to mention if you're enjoying the video and you think Copilot is something that you would like to try out, you can just visit the link in my description box and it'll give you a 14 day free trial with a coach of your own or just scan the QR code on screen. Good morning, besties. So I took some days off, clearly, but it is time to get back into the gym. I'm about to make my bed and start getting ready for the gym. Now I just need to pick an outfit out of my dresser. Well, actually not out of my dresser because I haven't put up my clothes yet. All of my clothes are in this basket. I have more in this basket and I have some that are actually put up, but not very many are put up. I'm gonna go on the app and check what my workouts are. Sometimes depending on what my workouts are, like say if I'm doing like a lot of leg workouts, like squats or anything like that, I'll wear more flatter shoes. I did do some research and my coach also recommended some shoes that would help with like my form on some things. Also, you can set goals in the app. It's really cool. So like, for example, I wanted to have a higher energy level and also be happier. Just click on log progress. And as of right now, I think my energy is kind of, I'm not like a level five. I probably will be once I take my pre-workout, but I think I'm like a level four. So that's pretty good. So we're gonna do that. Also my happiness level today. Um, I don't know. So, I mean, I'm feeling pretty good, but at the same time, I could be happier. I'd say my happiness level is honestly about in the middle. So I'm going to save that. Also, if you don't feel like doing it or logging that for the day, you could just skip it. So the majority of today is going to be like upper body. So really I have the freedom to wear whatever shoes I'm comfortable with. As for my outfit, I always like to wear a t-shirt and leggings. I do want to become more comfortable with my body to be one of those people who wears like, I mean, I've gotten more comfortable wearing biker shorts or things like that, but I feel like I'm still kind of staying within my comfort zone. I've definitely branched out a lot more from wearing only hoodies and sweatpants or hoodies and leggings to the gym, but I would like to become more comfortable in my own skin and wear different things. favorite parts of the morning drinking pre-workout i also got these cool new cups and they're so cute and we can't forget the poo after the pre-workout
Hello and hi. I know I don't look like I'm at the gym. That's because I'm not. This is me, but this is future me. I just wanted to let you know that I'm probably gonna have to kind of walk you through this workout a little bit because I have anxiety and I don't think I fully filmed everything because I was at my actual gym, which was like filled with people and I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about filming inside of the actual gym when it's packed and stuff like that. I'm just gonna walk you through it, especially because I was filming on a camera, like an actual camera. I don't want people to think that I'm trying to film them while they're working out or anything like that. Here was me trying to subtly set up my camera and obviously failing and dropping it, but I didn't film the first part of my workout, which was just a walk on the treadmill. Then I went straight into these dumbbell thrusters, which I really like. I feel like it's more of like a full body workout. If you look at this chart, you can see all the muscles that you're training. I started off with 10 reps with 10 pounds, then I did another set which was 10 reps of 10 pounds but then on the last set I went up to 15 pounds and my coach put this under the main lift of the day next we're going to go into a circuit and with that we're going to be training a couple different muscle groups at the same time as I mentioned I'd probably have to walk you through this workout a little bit because there were so many people in the gym that I was not able to film every single part of it and I'm sorry for that but I can show you the co-pilot animation for my next few workouts right after that I went into the alternating dumbbell bench press and I did 10 reps with 15 pounds Pounds. Then after that, I went into the split squat. This time I did use 15 pound dumbbell on each side and I did about eight reps per side. After that, I did a dumbbell side bend for 45 seconds per side with 35 pound dumbbell. I'm definitely still adjusting to this workout because I have to make sure that I'm fully engaging my core to make sure that I fill it within like the ab area or the core area. I don't know. Y'all know I ain't got no abs, but I'm working on it. I repeated all of those workouts three times. Then I went into my next set, which were these dumbbell curls. Curls, I did 12 reps with 15 pounds. Then I did these dumbbell lateral raises, which was again 12 reps with only 10 pounds. And I apologize, because like I said, I got really anxious and I ended up filming this part on my phone, which is why the quality is literal trash. Okay, I'm trying to properly set up this camera so that the sun is not like shining in my face. I think this is about as good as we're gonna get it. I'm currently at this track that is near Kevin's job. I've walked here before. I've recently been trying to get back into going for walks just because I like being outside. The weather is like nice-ish. I mean, like I do live in Alabama, so it is like super hot. I'm trying, I'm trying to get back into walks. This light like that's shining awkwardly is like making me mad. But anyways, I don't know if y'all watched my last video where I was just kind of talking about like loneliness and I went for a walk for like the first time in forever or maybe it was the second time I don't know whatever I went for a walk and this is like the same track but last time I went there was like nobody here and now there's a lot of people here so I'm feeling kind of like eh but it's okay we're gonna do this anyways I would have went to the gym for my Friday workout but Aisha isn't available which is my gym buddy so we're probably just gonna move that workout to tomorrow I'm just gonna let my coach know everything will be fine but let's get this workout in hopefully I can walk at least a mile but I want to try to push for more because the most I've done is like 1.25 maybe so that's like five laps Y'all, I've been thinking about trying to like run or at least jog. I don't think I can run, but I don't know. There's people here. Maybe if I was alone, I might try to like run on the straight part. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Y'all, I just realized that I forgot to start my Apple Watch. Of course I did, but it's only been half a lap, so that's okay. I started it just now. I did a little run. I'm on the phone with Kevin right now, but I did a little run and I'm already out of breath and I barely even ran that much. <sighs> I've literally only gone 0.22 of a mile. Okay, I'm trying to arrange this camera so that it looks at least proper. I have y'all sitting on a trash can that's mixed with like a cigarette ashes holder or whatever. Y'all can tell I'm super freaking sweaty. I finished at 1.70 mile. There's this car that like keeps going back and forth and it's freaking me out. A while ago there was this car that like stopped then they started going backwards and I was really scared. Everyone's like do you have safety when you're out here? I mean Kevin's job's right there so he can see me while I'm walking and like he'll call me but at the same time I'm just like I don't know it's kind of scary. I am literally so sweaty. Sweaty. But yeah, I almost got two miles. I could walk one more lap, which would be two miles, but honestly, eh. I love walking because it makes me just feel really, really good. I'm about to walk back to my car and we'll see how much that gives me. Not very much, but I'm gonna head to the car and we'll see. Also, there is the trash can that I was sitting you guys on. Let's 
Let's turn that AC on, please. Whew, it's so hot. Let's lock the doors as well. Do I still look cute when I'm sweaty? Actually, don't answer that. I'll probably be offended. Why is that AC not blasting? Turning it all the way down to 60. I'm sorry if y'all can hear the AC, but I'm dying right now. Okay, so I finished up at 1.83 miles. Um, also, I forgot to turn it on in the beginning. So honestly, I'm just gonna round up, uh, excuse me, and say that that's two miles. So I'm just going to press end on my Apple Watch. Now, this is not a workout with my co-pilot, but I'm gonna end that. And I also hit my workout goal for the day. Okay, but we're gonna go to co-pilot. We're gonna open up the app. And as soon as you open it up, it'll show the workout that you did today, which was walking for 46 minutes. Yes, I was walking for 46 minutes. Look, I was talking on the phone with Kevin. I know that I did not finish within like a reasonable amount of time, but like it was just a walk. It was not like a little jog or anything like that. I tried and I failed with jogging, but any workout is a good workout and I feel amazing right now. We have this. I'm just going to swipe up. Oops, swipe up to say that I did it. And it tells me that I got 10 points for activity complete, 10 points for an intensity bonus. Sorry, no, six points. And if I go to me and Olivia's chat, you can see where it sends right in our direct messages. So it just feels a little bit more accomplishing when your coach can see, you know, the good healthy habits that you're doing, like going for a walk, at least for me. I like the validation. <laughs> Also, there's a new feature on the app that I just noticed where like you can also share your workouts with your friends. It says your friends will get free access to the workouts that you select and there's no subscription required. I have a lot of people that reach out and they're like, I have no clue where to start with fitness, like family members, things like that. They're like, I wanna go to the gym, but I don't know what to do. Like, how do you do it? That's awesome that I can like now share a workout that I'm doing that day so they can kind of get an idea of the workouts that I'm doing. And honestly, maybe that'll even convince them to try co-pilot out for themselves because it's honestly changed the way that I look at fitness, working out, everything like that. Like, yes, I may be working with Copilot, but even whenever I am not sponsored or working with them, I use this app literally three days a week at least. I would have never been as consistent as I am now or gotten past the gym anxiety that I have if I didn't do Copilot. Copilot literally made me so comfortable with doing dumbbells. Like when I walk in the gym, I grab the dumbbells and like, I know what I'm doing. But yeah, the workout that I was gonna do today, I'm just going to do tomorrow. <laughs> Why are you saying it's so awkward? Oh my God. The best part about walking by Kevin's no. job is I can see Kevin. Yo, she's like. <laughs> Stop. I'm not putting that in the vlog. I love you. Why we bump foreheads? That was cute. Okay, y'all. Another day, another workout. Yay. That's kind of awkward when I say yay. Maybe we should add the sound effect. <laughs> Anyways, today we are heading to Aisha's gym. So I wore something a little bit more out of my comfort zone. I'm wearing some short shorts. I also wore some Converse. I'll show y'all my outfit whenever, you know, I get in like an appropriate setting where y'all could see the outfit. But I'm wearing my Converse because today there is a lot of leg workouts. I looked over my workouts and yeah, we got some deadlifts. I'm going up in weight on my deadlifts and we gonna see how this goes. And today we're going to Aisha's gym. It was kind of awkward to film at our regular gym just cause like there's so many people there. I don't know, you know, people feel uncomfortable on camera and I of course don't wanna make anyone feel uncomfortable at the gym even though I was like in my own little corner. I, I don't think people actually even noticed that I was filming myself. I think it was just my paranoid brain making me think that people thought that like I was filming them or something like that. We're just gonna go to her apartment gym cause literally we're the only people who go there for real. It is kind of messy. For some reason they won't clean it. Hello? Yeah, I haven't left yet because I'm pretty sure I just I have to take my pre-workout poop right now, so. Okay, that's fine. I'll just wait. I'm going to your apartment anyways. Aisha said her pre-workout kicked in and she got to go to the potty. Not me saying potty like it's stormy or something. Oh my gosh. Yes, I talked to my dog like she's a toddler. Call me back again tomorrow when you're sober. Signals fading, I got somewhere else to be. I'm an angel cause I love you when you're broken. You're the devil, you don't care. much for watching this video i really hope it can help don't forget to visit the link in the description or scan the qr code for a 14 day free trial with a personal trainer of your own and thanks again copilot for sponsoring this video I've been waiting to